Then he said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the most high power, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. All praises to Ahaya Bahashem Yeshaya Rorawak Kadash. That's all praises to the Father in the name of Yeshaya, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm here to bring you another amazing prophecy. This is the one listed in Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, and it reads, And the Most High said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. I have heard a lot of people, a lot of Christians, actually, erroneously teach that the meaning of this is that man cannot live past a hundred and one twenty years. Well, today we're going to prove that that is not what the scripture is saying. Also, I'm going to show you the prophecy contained therein. Before we go into the scriptures, I'd like you to meet Janine Louise Calment. This woman lived to be 122 years old. So here's my question. If she can live to be 122 years old, then if you believe that Genesis 6-3 is actually saying that man can't live past 120 years, then you are calling the scriptures a lie. You're in error. Okay, so as always, we're going to get our understanding according to Isaiah 28, 9 and 10. It reads, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Psalms 119.104 reads, Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Drop down to 128. And it says, therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. And I hate every false way. So we aren't going to deal with any falsehoods. No false ways around here. There's only one way. And it's the truth. Now we're going to go to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. And it reads, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Most High as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. So when the Most High speaks of a day, one of his days, he's not speaking of a 24 hour period. He's speaking of a thousand years. Let's get a precept for that. Let's go to Psalms verse chapter 90 verse four. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. So the same way you think of the last 24 hours, yesterday, is the same way the Most High thinks of the last thousand years. Let's get another precept. You know we like to get two or three. We're going to go to Ecclesiasticus or Sirach in your Apocrypha. Chapter 18, verse 10. Actually, let's start at verse, let's see. No, we'll start at verse 10. Okay. As a drop of water unto the sea and a gravel stone in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Wow. So we just read... So are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Eternity, that's a powerful word. The definition for eternity 
is infinite time, duration without beginning or end. So we know that is speaking of the Most High because He is eternity. He exists outside of time. Time is a construct that He made for us. I'm also going to show you today when our current timeline really kicked in. Now go to Hosea chapter 6. Let's read the first three verses. Come and let us return unto the Most High, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. In the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Most High, his going forth is prepared as the morning. And he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and the former rain unto the earth. So where this says after two days, we know it's not talking about 48 hours. Therefore, it must be talking about his days. It's talking about 2000 years. Then it says in the third day, we will live in his sight. Hmm. What is that third day talking about? Let's go to Revelation chapter 20 and read verse 4 through 6. And I saw thrones, and they set upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yeshua, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection on such the second death hath no power but they shall be priest of Ahia and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years wow so we're going to reign with him a thousand years that is the third day now I want to give you an understanding of something let's go to Genesis chapter 2 read the first three verses Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day Ahiah ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And Ahiah blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work, which Ahiah created and made. So understand that Ahiah worked for six days, six of his days, 6,000 years, and then he rested on the seventh day. But it says that he blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. So we understand that that is the Sabbath day. So the same way that we hallow the end of our week the seventh day of these 24 hour periods the most high hallows a thousand years after every six of his days after every six thousand years let's get a precept for that let's go to Hebrews chapter 4 Read verse 3 and 4. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and Ahiah did rest the seventh day from all his works. 
Okay, so now let's go back to Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. And it reads, And the Most High said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. You have to realize that when the scriptures were being translated, that most of the time they were doing the best they could to translate them correctly. That's why some words don't exactly translate the same every time. What they do is they will try to use the same word and look at the context of what is around it and interpret it that way. But when they do this, they are not interpreting according to Isaiah 28, 9 and 10, not according to the precepts. So our interpretation is going to be different from their interpretation because our interpretation is the truth. Now jump over jump over to Leviticus chapter 25. And we're going to start reading at verse 8. And thou shalt number seven sabbaths of years unto three seven times seven years. And the space of the seven sabbaths of years shall be unto thee Forty and nine years. So seven times seven is forty-nine. Math. We're gonna do math today in these scriptures. Let's keep reading. Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. In the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. And ye shall hollow the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you. And ye shall return every man unto his possession. And ye shall return every man unto his family. A jubilee shall that fiftieth year be unto you. Ye shall not sow, neither reap that which groweth of itself in it nor gather the grapes in it of the vine undress for it is the jubilee it shall be holy unto you ye shall eat the increase thereof out of the field so wow seven times seven seven sabbaths of years seven times seven is 49 that's 49 years then the 50th year would be the Jubilee. And it is the Jubilee that is to be holy to us. So let's go back to Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. And the Most High said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. So we know that interpreting this as 120 years doesn't make anybody sense at all. However, we just read that the Jubilee shall be holy to us. So, what if this is saying shall be 120 Jubilees? because that is what it's saying. Now, let's do some math. 120 times 50 equals 6,000. So 120 Jubilees is 6,000 years. Genesis 6.3 says that My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. So when did the flesh of man change? 
the fall of Adam. Ladies and gentlemen, when Adam ate that fruit, by decree of the Most High Power, he had to die that same day. Not a 24 hour day, but one of the Most High's days. That's why Adam didn't live beyond a thousand years. As a matter of fact, let's get it. Genesis 3, chapter 3 reads, But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High have said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Now let's read the same thing out of the book of Jasher. Let's go to the book of Jasher, chapter 1, verse 7. And the Most High Power took Adam and his wife, and he placed them in the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And he commanded them and said unto them, From every tree of the garden you may eat. But from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat thereof, you shall surely die. Now, if you stay in the book of Jasher, and you go to chapter 3, read verse 14, it says, And it was the 56th year of the life of Lamech when Adam died. 930 years old was he at his death and his two sons with Enoch and Methuselah his son buried him with great pomp as at the burial of kings in the cave which the Most High had told him and you can get the precept for this right in Genesis chapter 5 verse 5 and all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. So Adam died the same day that he ate of the fruit. Our current timeline really, well, I shouldn't say our current timeline. Our timeline began when the Most High created the heavens and earth but our current well I'll, I'll put it this way from Genesis chapter 6 verse 3 that 120 jubilees that began when Adam ate that fruit that's when that 6,000 years began so Genesis chapter 6 verse 3 was actually prophesying the return of Christ, the return of Yeshua. Now the example I gave was simply using the dates from Adam to Moses, then from Moses, oh wait a minute, I didn't give them to you yet, did I? Okay, so let's do that. So, let's do some math. From the time Adam ate the fruit till Moses was 2,500 years. And the time from Moses until the time of Christ, Yeshua, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, was... 1,750 years okay that brings the total to 4,250 years so from the time of Christ at 4,250 years until 60,000 years would be another 1,750 years 
go back to Hosea chapter 6 verse 2 where it says will he revive us that's saying 2,000 years he will revive us but wait according to the math it said 1750 but the answer to that lies in Matthew chapter 24 look at verse 21 for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened so you see the days are to be shortened which means that the time frame won't really be 2,000 years so the question is how do we calculate pinpoint the time and the answer is we can't and that's scripture we can't know the exact time however we can get a general idea but keep in mind that these devils did change times and laws as a matter of fact let's get that too let's see let's go to Daniel let's see chapter 7 verse let's see verse 25 and he shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time so are we really in the year 2019 I think not now guys I'm gonna get ready to get out of here but I prepared a timeline a few years ago using all this same information and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this video so you guys can check it out the timeline is from the time Adam ate the fruit until actually you know what it starts before the time Adam ate the fruit it actually starts at creation but then you can see after creation when Adam ate the fruit the timeline since then understand that because of the dark ages where they messed around with the years there's some give or take in there some three to five hundred years who knows how they mess with things in that arena of time but it's not the year 2019 matter of fact it's probably not even 1700 yet so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and show this video to you guys thank you so much I hope that you were all edified all praises to Ahaya Bahashim Yeshaya Warawak Shalom oh wait I forgot something Revelations chapter 21 verse 1 says and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea you know it's pretty deep that this is talking about after the thousand years after that third day and all of a sudden there is a new heaven and a new earth because the first earth was passed away so think about this 
It took the Most High six days to create heaven and earth. The question is, what do you think he's doing right now? I believe it's evident just from the scriptures that we went over today that the Most High is busy. He's busy creating a new heaven and a new earth. And when he's done, at the same time that we are finished with our six days, then we get to rest in the Most High's Sabbath. Are you picking up what I'm dropping? The Most High creates a new heaven and a new earth the same way he created heaven and earth the first time and then he rested on the seventh day. Man, I can't wait to rest with the Most High Power. You guys be blessed. Shalom. Think you have all the time The artisans In this world To play the field To get all the girls Say you're gonna settle down When you get a little bit older Look at the signs you're out of time. Look at all these signs, doctrines all kinds. Every pipe and every tube deceiving men and minds. You hearing rumors that they warring overseas. We hearing shots, cause they warring in the streets. Put that worry out your mind, cause all this been predicted, prophesized. Now the scriptures bearing witness. I see it now. Nations against nations, we all feel it. Races against races. All around the world, the earth is sounding off. Hurricanes, quakes, and volcanoes popping off Amidst it all, they coming after us Affliction, death, murder, kill, gunning after us We stay hated for our Savior's name's sake I proudly bear it It's a minor price to pay, they want us all dead Cause they all know what's coming We in travail now, but we was promised something Think you have all the time Every night, shameless on the pole, especially if the money's right. Say you'll stop showing your skin when you get a few more dollars. Look at the signs, you're out of time. The father ain't forgotten what he did to Sodom. You're flying high with simple pride to crash you to the bottom. Flee your sins, don't even take a snapshot. Looking back at it will leave you like the wife a lot. It's over for lukewarmish, half stepping. Keep a watchful eye and start soul prepping. Don't get caught in the rain like the folk was who ain't listened to Noah. Lost their life, cuz. And just like back then, today they getting it in. Eating whatever, get drunk and marrying friends. And friends ain't the limit. Them side of my screw anything with a hole in it. And they sit and gets the food too. Exclusive GMO mass production, boy. They wanna kill you. They ain't your friends. Your life got value. If you let them, they'll market price and sell you. Time short, too short for vanity. Selfies on your timeline, it's insane to me. Same seeing different results, insanity. You ain't learn from your past, but it's clear to me. The water will walk for teaching me. All praises to a higher, he chose me. Now I'm digging in these prophecies, and I'm seeing time run out faster than blood bleed. Hear me now, fast pray and ask for understanding. The Live these laws and keep these commandments. All ain't lost, leave off from iniquity. He paid the cost, now another can redeem me. Hear me now, fast pray and ask for understanding. Live these laws and keep these commandments. 
all ain't lost, leave off from iniquity He paid the cost, now another can redeem me We out of time, foot all on our neck, like we under time Media distractions all the time, nearly every time 40 plus hours a week, I'm working overtime No, not a job, man, I'm on a higher time When it comes to working for the kingdom, call me anytime My power live on the outside of time Time and time again, from the start to the finish line We only telling time now, cause he gave us time Time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break, a time to build A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance A time to lose, a time to keep For silence, time to speak, a time for love, a time for hate For war and for peace A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break, a time to build A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance A time to lose, a time to keep For silence, time Artisan's to speak, a time music. for love Time for hate, for war, and for peace. Adam wasn't Eden, he was all alone. Never help me. The Most High didn't want him to be lonely, so he made Adam fall into a deep sleep. The Most High took away his rib, created Eve, and the two did live as one flesh, as man and wife. Beautiful love in a garden paradise. I remember praying for a wife before he blessed me and put her in my life. I was fighting just to take a breath, breathe, and live, cause it's hard when you're missing a rib. Good thing for a man to be alone If you find a good woman, man, you better bring her home Thank the Father for leading you to your rib You have a help meet now, breathe and live I'm feeling overjoyed cause I found my missing rib Twain flesh joy, now we bout to need a crib I found a good thing cause he led her in my life And she a righteous woman, so I'm doing something right Every time I see her, she wears strength and honor Kindness in her mouth only make me love her stronger Water to the most high for favor in my life I love you mom and dad but I'm cleaving to my wife Hey you you know how the scriptures tell us To love our wives as Christ loved the church But how can we do that if we don't know what love is? Let's take it to 1 Corinthians cause you know charity is love Love suffer long so you need it in your home Love is kind so keep kindness on your mind Love don't boast and love don't brag True love is the stuff that lasts Love ain't foolish and it can't be provoked And don't rejoice in iniquity but do it true folk Love bears, love believes, love endureth all things Love never fails So put the voice out your mind and love your rib Through the storm might be cold in the dark but the dawn is warm I'm feeling overjoyed cause I found my missing rib Twain flesh joy, now we bout to need a crib a good thing cause he led her in my life and she a righteous woman so I'm doing something right every time I see her she wears strength and honor kindness in her mouth only make me love her stronger the water to the most high for favor in my life I love you mom and dad but I'm cleaving to my wife hey if he blessed you to find your rib I want you to turn to your wife look her in the eye and say I love you now I want you to thank the Father, thank the Father for blessing you. The water for Eve, the water for Sarah, the water for Rebecca, and the water for Leah, the water for Rachel, the water for Zilpah, the water for Bilhah, the water for Hannah, the water for Mary, and the water for Ruth, the water for every rib given in truth, the water for our good things, loving our wives. Abba Ahaya for blessing our lives Her price is far above rubies And if she got it, she'll give it If there's a need When she smell it, make the whole house feel good And she's the living definition of motherhood So much compassion and she wear it like a vest Her children will rise up and call her blessed They'll call her blessed I'm feeling overjoyed cause I found my missing rib Twain flesh joy, now we bout to need a crib I found a good thing, cause he led her in my life And she a righteous woman, so I'm doing something right Every time I see her, she wears strength and honor Kindness in her mouth, only make me love her stronger The 
water to the most high for favor in my life. I love you, mom and dad, but I'm cleaving to my wife.